shalom to you in this video um i want us to look at some of the uh, problems questions and applications involving right triangles that we've looked at in class but we didn't finish okay one of them is question number 31 from page 337 i mean page 339 okay so if you remember this question two fire towers which is drawn here 30 kilometers kilometers apart is drawn okay Eli's tower is due west of tower b it's due west okay so uh, so this picture you're familiar with make sure you copy the problem in your notes and so we take this uh this picture redraw it All right here's the the triangle Okay. And, and then we have the 30 the whole AB is 30 kilometer so we do not know from this part of the triangle so that's the the challenge so but then we have to use variable to represent what we do not know so and then use algebra to solve for for x okay so we let this part be x and then since the whole of a b is 30 then from the, from here this part of the side of the triangle to a is going to be 30 minus x because if you take this part you'll have what is left and then we can use trig ratios to set up we know angle okay angle 34 is going to be opposite over adjacent again the right angle is here so this side is hypotenuse so angle 34 is opposite over adjacent and opposite over adjacent the sokatoa it uses the the term okay is the so oh, soka okay so it's a uh, so tan 34 is opposite over adjacent and then we solve for x we solve, solve and multiply x by both sides and divide both sides by tan 34 we get this so we keep it there because we have two variables we can't really solve for it that's that's the the simplest we can get it and then we do the other triangle tan 14 is opposite over adjacent again because this side is hypotenuse so if we write that tan 14 is d over adjacent 30 minus x so now we we can uh, do the algebra and then cross multiply to solve for d so it put this over one that's what we did so one d times one is d tan 40 times the quantity 30 minus d over that so then we can distribute tan 40 times 30 is 30 times 14 tan 14 times d over tan 35 is d times Okay, because when your multiplication is commutative, we can switch those two. Okay, so why we want to put this on top? Because these are numbers. We can actually plug it into our calculator and solve it. But this is a variable, so we want to keep the variable out. And then now we have, from this side, we move over here to finish solving it. So since we have two terms, 30 times 14 is one term. And this side is another term because they are separated by subtraction. Whenever uh, expressions are separated by addition or subtraction, then you have terms. So in the one term, we can uh, factor. No, not factor yet. So here we we make this side. We make this side with d, so we can have all the variables together. The d's together. So we add d tan 14 over tan 35 to both sides we add it 
so that's why we have d plus d tan 14 over that on this side and then see it's going to disappear on this on the right side we only have 30 times 14 okay and now because both of them are on the same side they are one term and another term separated by addition we can factor out the d so we take d out if we take d out one will be left here and then here we have tan 14 over tan 34 left if we distribute this back it's going to give us d times 1 d and then d times that we get that back okay so now this has helped helped us to isolate d so and d is multiplying this whole quantity and so to solve to solve for d we can divide both sides by this whole quantity so we take 30 times 14 divided by this whole quantity if you plug it correctly into your calculator you get the answer or you can simplify the denominator first after you simplify the denominator and then you divide you get the the same answer all right number 33 is another one okay so and the picture is drawn here again make sure you write it inside your note and then we're going to redraw the picture okay so here is a picture that um one of your classmates drew um, so if you separate those two triangles the height the height of the lighthouse is the same for both ship from the the line the, the, the uh, line of sight of course the line of sight has to be um, it has to make the angle with the horizontal line with the horizontal line for the angle of depression the angle of depression has to be made from the horizontal line so so we see that angle the, the, the triangle here the first small angle is 14 so we have the angle here again we can draw it out here so it looks something like that so this is the long one so this is y and this is going to be 350 and this angle is 14 okay sorry oops that's 14 and then the smaller triangle but long with the boat oops this should be uh, let me erase this okay okay this should be the same the same length 350 and this is x and this angle is 6.5 okay so if we and there's a right angle here between the horizontal and vertical line so hope that helps clarify this picture this is the boat first boat and the second boat and we are looking for the distance between them but we have to use the trig ratio first of all to find x and y so we say that angle is opposite and the adjacent so tan would work so if we have um, by the way so our a is gonna be between here and there so that's the a we are looking for so tan 6.5 is 350 over x and then we use it to find we multiply both sides by x and then divide both sides by tan 65 and we get that the same thing with this we multiply both sides by uh, sorry this is this is this is not clear I just block but anyway is the same tan 14 is 350 over y okay and then just like the same thing we do y is going to be 350 divided by tan 14 and you can plug that into your calculator and you get this and then once we get that we notice that a is going to be y minus x so the word is left in between the two ship so that's what she did here and then you subtract those you get the answer all right the next one is the problem we had on page 348 number 18 and uh, 
so I kind of redrew the picture here to make it clearer um, so the thing is from the problem oops the the bearing the bearing for a flight the a flight has to be has to go from north so in and the plane is the bearing of the plane so it goes from north to this uh, bearing okay again uh, to this bearing so it has to make all the way from north again flight navigation is the only one that must always go clockwise from the north and so it is the this plane the plane is taking off is flying from here to the airport not from the airport away it's flying here so the bearing has to be from this spot and this is the bearing so the angle has to go all the way from the north till that so you have 90 here and then you have 90 in this quadrant you have 90 in this quadrant plus this angle b so we're gonna use the trig opposite over hypotenuse so tan b is opposite 80 over 95 and so after we solve we use the inverse tan we use the inverse tan to get rid of tan to find b so we find the inverse of 80 uh, 80 over 95 and then we get this and then we have to add the 90 99 which is 270 to get our overall um the whole angle he's going to make okay all right